The data from your mission against the Vardois shows they're a bigger threat than we ever anticipated. Our forces are stretched thin. The Alpha Quadrant Alliance cannot fight a prolonged conflict in the Delta Quadrant. We must work to form an alliance of species here. Admiral Tuvok and Captain Kim are working on a plan and have requested your assistance. Admiral Tuvok is in the conference room with the other members of the task force. Follow me, please. I'll take you to him. Seems like we're never gonna get you that tour. Sorry. The others are waiting for you in the conference room. Let us begin. While the Kobali and the Benthans have agreed to join our alliance, there are many other races in the Delta Quadrant in a position to help us defeat the Vodwar. It will be up to us to show them the benefits of joining us. Seven, I would like you to contact the Cooperative. The Cooperative should be amenable to our offer. They have as much to lose as we do. Neelix, your experience as a traitor makes you an excellent choice to work with the Hazari. The Hazari? This won't be easy, but I should be able to pull it off. Captain Kim, we've arranged a meeting for you with the leaders of several Kazon sects. I don't trust the Kazon, but I'll give it my best effort. Doctor, you have experience with the Hierarchy. I would like you to infiltrate one of their ships and learn more about how they make decisions. Ooh, I have several new subroutines that will be perfect for this mission. As for you, I would like you to visit the Toure in the Octantu, and then provide support to any of the others who require it. We need allies to turn the tide of this war. We cannot fail. You can leave if you return to the transporter room, though there is some time to speak with the crew. I never thought I'd be a spokesperson for this alliance myself, and to the Hazari! I guess all my time as a traitor and ambassador made Admiral Tuvok think I was the right to Lexing for the job. Knowing that you and your crew have my back is a great relief. The Hazari are tough negotiators. This is going to be interesting. I've never really tested my field intelligence subroutines, but Admiral Tuvok assures me they will perform well. He has been assisting me with the programming, and I've made an extensive study of intelligence and information gathering on my own. 
I may require you to interact with the hierarchy and make the Alliance offer to them. If they think it's the best financial option, they may agree to join us. The cooperative should be amenable to our alliance. I foresee no problems and should not require your assistance. I will inform you if the situation changes. The Kazon are argumentative and difficult. Getting them on our side will be tricky. I'll be negotiating with the leaders of five of the clans. While I hope to bring them all on board, I'll be happy if we get one or two. The Rhode Island is a tough ship, but I'd be grateful if you could bring your ship to the negotiations. The Kazon respect a show of force, and your ship might be just the thing we need to sway them to our side. The Ture and the Octante have worked with us in the past. You should not find it difficult to make a convincing case for a renewed alliance. Ready to beam you back to your ship, sir. That's close enough. This is restricted space, and you're not welcome. We don't need your advice. Our Voth allies are more than strong enough to help us. Very well. Ambassador Norik will speak with you now. Don't waste his time like you've wasted mine. What is the meaning of this? want no more alliances. The Ture have a mutual defense pact with the Voth, and it is quite sufficient for our needs. Be gone! I do not wish to order our pickets to fire upon you, but I will if I must. The Voth are on their way. I... I'm sure of it.
any planet ships. This is a priority emergency. We are under attack. Your ship may be formidable, it is still no match for the Voth. We have already chosen our ally. The Voth have been a power in this part of the galaxy longer than even the Vodwar. They are the first race in the Quadrant and should be respected for their age and wisdom. You make some excellent points. You have given us much to think about. Upon consideration, I think this alliance is in the mutual benefit of all involved. I will take your offer to my superiors with my approval, and then we'll send an attaché to your flagship to work out the details. It is agreeable that your efforts to recruit the Touré were successful. We are reaching out to their embassy to begin our cooperation immediately. Thank you. Greetings. I am on my way with several cooperative ships. It was simple enough to get them onto our side, but the real problem now is with the Octanti. The Octanti Consul should be at your location now. Please begin discussions without us. We shall be there soon. Ambassador Rerick of the Octanti. I've examined the proposal your government's transmitted, and I'm afraid the Octanti people must decline. The Federation, the Klingon Empire, and the Romulan Republic all give rank and commissions to form drones. You 
call them liberated, but they are still poor. The boy drove us off our homeworld and massacred our people. An alliance with them would be unthinkable. Borg are poor. We will not join your alliance, and we never will. Our people have lost too much already. I won't be led into another unwinnable war. This is Seven of Nine. I have a priority message for the Octanti. Ambassador Rarick, the Cooperative has a problem with which they require your assistance. An Octanti synthetic virus has infected a recently liberated Q, causing severe problems for the fragile consciousnesses of the former drones. They are falling to madness. Our sensors show the cube is moving in this direction. You are in danger. Unknown. We need the Octanti to transmit the shutdown code for the synthetic virus. If done quickly, the liberated Borg aboard the cube may recover. Never! If the virus infected them, then our work is done. They will destroy themselves. It's arriving now. Your time is up. Lower your... prepare... assimilated... Ambassador, please deactivate the virus. There are thousands of liberated Borg on that cube who need your help. The Borg are a blight. The only course of action is extermination. Rarick! Where is Rarick? I know he is here. Please deactivate virus. Ah! Is that you? That's. My brother, he and four other Octanti volunteered to be infected with the virus and taken by the Borg seven years ago. I, I thought he was lost to us. Deactivating now. Ah, it's not working. The cube's automated defenses are too strong. We'll need to weaken it before I can transmit the code. accepted a transmission about your meeting. It was right. You were here. I fought the madness to get to you. Dangerous. But I knew you would not abandon us. Thank you. Mashed. I'm so overjoyed to see you. I never believed in this liberation idea. It was a fantasy for the grieving. Having seen it firsthand, hearing my brother's voice again, maybe I shouldn't have been so willing to dismiss hope. I will see that the Atanti people seriously consider your proposal. We need to reconsider many things. We knew recruiting the Octanti was going to be problematic. You did exceptionally well with a very difficult task. Oh, thank goodness you've arrived! 
I'm trying to work with the Hazari, but they are a demanding lot. They're using this opportunity to melt the Benthans for everything they've got. To say the least, first, they want the Benthans to void the warrants of three of the Hazari, Niken, Yakela, and Negrasa. Then they want two prisoners released. And if that weren't enough, they're demanding bounty hunting licenses for the Ramar, Zilman, and Asprinti systems. Pleasure to see you again. I assume you can speak with more authority than this Talaxian. Then I wish you good luck. Your offer is tempting, but we simply don't have any help to give you. All of my resources have to be focused on the Benthans breathing down our necks. The Benthans usually have a ship patrolling this area of the system. It's a neutral ground, but they know what can happen in neutral areas. The ship should be able to contact the Benthan High just a car for us. The Benthans keep a close eye on this system. Lots of deals are made here. I am High Justicar Mayhem. I was told you needed to speak to me on a critical matter. Oh? How can we assist you? It's always demands when it comes to the Hazari. Demands, deals, and contracts. Transmit their list. I haven't had a good laugh in days. There's no way we'd agree to all this. I'm sorry. Good point. Hmm. I can rescind the warrants for Niken and Yakela, but not Negrasa. He's caused too much trouble to let him go free. And the prisoners, I'll exchange them for Niken, if the Hazari will give him up. He's been raising havoc in three sectors. I'll give them one of the systems for hunting, but not all three. Let them choose which one they want. Will they give us what we want? Of course we knew they wouldn't give us everything. But if you don't ask for everything, you won't get anything, hmm? What? Uh, oh, I mean good. Let's see here. We give the Benthans Nikedin, and we get two of our captains back? <laughs> Done. Nikedin is a Bashik Monar. I think the closest translation we have to your language is a pit where you throw your pack at Take him, but he won't go without a fight. Sure, I'll draw up the contract. Just transmit your authorization and you've got a deal. As soon as the Benthans deliver, the Hazari are part of your alliance. Nakedid is in hiding, but I'll give you an encoded signal to lure him out. He'll think it's one of our ships giving him the all-clear. <laughs> you can use one of the Benthan satellites nearby to relay the signal. We send signals on them all the time. It'll lend to your credibility. Trap? Fine! I'll kill you then! My so Lose my ship and crew for this. You've beaten me. What? The Benthans? I thought I'd be going to one of your prisons. I can escape from one of those in a week. Lowering shields now. Just don't vaporize me. We should take our prisoner to that Benthan patrol ship. Hazari seem a little too happy about this outcome. 
Even if Yadrin doesn't like Nikedrin, I didn't think he'd be so quick to give him up to the Benthans. I don't think that's the case. On behalf of all the Hazari, thank you for delivering that Grotok Nikedrin to the Benthans. Oh, what can it hurt now? We've got an airtight contract. Remember those hollow emitters we got from that Ferengi? He also sold us a nice, personal-sized one with a low-emission power pack. We gave that one to Nikedin. <laughs> right about now, he should be slipping out of the brig and into the crew of that Benthan cruiser you delivered him to. <laughs> a spy on the high Justicar ship. <laughs> we'll know everything. Not so fast. Our contract specifically states that you cannot interfere in the matter of Captain Nikedin once you have delivered him to the Benthans. Telling them would be the very definition of interference. And that's done. I'll meet you back at Voyager. I understand the Hazari used the pretense of the Alliance to place a spy on the Benthan ship, and that their contact with us will be voided if we inform the Benthans of his presence. Fortunately, we have our own operatives in the Hazari organization. They will be able to marginalize the effectiveness of the Hazari spy, while still keeping them as a tool to use against the Vodwar. Hello again. I thought it would be best if I used your bridge's hollow emitters for this conversation. I'm currently in disguise on board the hierarchy ship as one of those potato-looking fellows, and I don't think you want to see any more of this than you have to. The hierarchy assume I'm one of the crew. I've begun a review of their cost analysis matrix, which is what they use to determine if any particular course of action will be profitable. Right now, their ship is running silent which means they're cloaked, and all higher-level computer functions are locked out. I need those to complete my review. You need to convince them to decloak. Hail them. Show them their cloak isn't enough to hide them from the Alliance. Then, you might be able to convince them to join. The ship is currently cloaked by one of the nav beacons in this region of space. Just head to the nav beacon, and you'll get their attention. The hierarchy once corrupted my programming in an attempt to spy on Voyager. This seems fitting. These subtleties are quite useful. Perhaps I'll write a hollow novel about my experiences as a spy. That's close enough. I don't want any trouble. To know how you knew our location. Hmm. Don't tell us your secrets and we won't tell you ours. As for your offer of an alliance, give me a moment to consider it. The hierarchy is consulting the cost analysis matrix. This is exactly what I needed. Hmm. This is going to take some time. We'll need to stall them while I get what I need. I am sorry. But the hierarchy has evaluated the investment needed for such an undertaking. And we find that the Alliance ships are simply outmatched by the Vodwa. There's no profit in losing. We'll stay out of this fight. I have an idea. Follow my lead. Um, uh, perhaps we could arrange for a demonstration of their abilities. I could reroute the cloaking device through our main deflector dish and create convincing holographic targets for them to fight. You... you could do that. Very well. That will show us what these Alliance ships are capable of. Then we'll run the numbers again. Are you ready to prove your worth? Uh, uh, two holographic Borg probes coming up. Borg probes? Oh, hardly a challenge. 
I want something big. Give me a Voth Bulwark. Also, I don't care if they can just defeat the hologram. I want to see how well this person works with their crew. Anyone can throw firepower at something. It's another thing to be a good manager of people. One Voth Bulwark coming up. believe it. Run the numbers again. Hmm. Very well. It seems that we underestimated you. If other ships are like yours, we'll gladly join your alliance. Excellent work, Doctor. Your recordings of the Hierarchy's cost analysis matrix will be a great benefit to Starfleet Intelligence. And you. I must say, bringing the hierarchy into the Alliance is quite unexpected. I thought it would take weeks of back-channel negotiations to make any progress with them at all. Thank you for taking a risk. Your show of power must have been most impressive. Glad to see you. It seems the Kazon don't believe we have enough ships to stop the Vodwar. I keep telling them we'll have the numbers if we work together, but they keep insisting they need more information. More ships! I demand to see more! Our scouts have reported seeing Voyager in the Delta Quadrant again. We want to see that ship! Yes, I wonder. I'm going to try something. Things might get dicey if my suspicions are correct. Nelik, the USS Voyager is not available. If there is anything about it that you need to know, I can answer those questions. I was stationed on Voyager during its time here in the Delta Quadrant. You were on Voyager? That's excellent news. If you're willing to vouch for your fleet's strength, Captain Kim, we are ready to join your alliance. You're telling me... Wait a second. They just transmitted a coded signal. There's a ship just outside sensor range, probably waiting for Voyager to arrive. Ensign Harry Kim. Or is it Captain now? Finally got a promotion. I hope you enjoyed your life, Captain. It ends now. I don't know. You have me at a disadvantage. You know my name, but I don't know who you are. 
at least give me the courtesy of an introduction to the man who's going to kill me. My name is Cecil, but that means nothing to you. You would have known my mother. You served with her on Voyager until your Captain Janeway's hatred and prejudice drove her into exile with the Kazar, where she was a brave and capable leader. Tell me, Captain Kim, do you ever think about what you did to Seska? Seska? Then you must be... We didn't even know you were still alive, Sesson. Your father took you when he left Voyager. Well, Sesson and Captain Kim squabble over old hurts, I would like to make you an offer. My clan has taken over a new planet, but the climate is arid and water is Well, Sesson and Captain Kim squabble over old herds. I would like to make you an offer. My clan has taken over a new planet, but the climate is arid and water is in short supply. About a hundred of your terraforming systems will change our prospects for the better. If you will provide them, I'll pledge the loyalty of the Kazon Relora to you right now as well as the ships of all the clans who are our allies. How unfortunate. The Kazon Nistrum have agreed to give us some resources, but their price is high, and Sesson isn't the most trustworthy man to deal with. However, they are willing to help us, and you are not. Shields up, red alert. I knew Kazon. for the deception. 
Mage Session holds a great deal of power over the rest of the Kazon clans. I hope my actions here will convince you that our desire to assist you against the Vodwar is sincere. The Kazon are very factional. I can believe that Sesson strong-armed them into acting as they did. I would like to welcome the Kazon Ogla and the other allied Kazon to the Alliance. I heard you tried to get the Kazon Relora to join the Alliance. I would have helped if I could, but I had my hands full with Sesson and the Kazon Nistrum. Sesson is obsessed with Voyager. I don't know what his father told him about us, but Seska was a thorn in our sides for most of our early time in the Delta Quadrant. She certainly wasn't the victim. She was the aggressor. It looks like her hatred of Voyager has been passed on to her son. I wish he could have had a better legacy. I'll return to Admiral Tuvok in the Alyan system. See you there. Our success on this mission falls within expected parameters. Some of the races are willing to join us, but others did not see the wisdom of working together toward a common goal. We will continue our efforts. Perhaps if we take a different approach with those who are still reluctant, they will see the value of cooperation. Admiral Tuvok sent me a report on the situation. Hopefully the work we've done today will pay off. The Vadwar are a large threat, one that cannot be ignored. The Vadwar lost everything 900 years ago when their enemies united against them. It shows how arrogant Gaul is that he's allowing it to happen again.